I've been a psychologist for more than 40 years and have seen just about every imaginable scenario. Anxiety, eating disorders, depression, substance abuse, broken homes, self-harm, learning disabilities, grief, post-traumatic stress, Asperger's, geniuses, both talented and tormented, physical abuse, developmental delays, schizophrenia, traumatic brain injury, and physical disabilities— as well as many healthy children, adults, and families who ended up in my office due to loss, disease, or trauma, or who simply wanted to be their best selves. But there is one thing I have never seen. No parent has ever told me, I hope my child grows up to be a narcissist. No one wants his or her child to exploit others, be selfish, demand special treatment, or lack empathy. No parent wants to see their little one grow up unable to sustain fulfilling relationships and miss finding contentment and happiness as an adult. However, despite our best intentions, narcissism in our society continues to thrive. The study of how and why humans grow, change, and adapt across the course of their lives first captured me in college and graduate school. My interest in developmental psychology has grown over the years, with broader knowledge and greater challenge, and has influenced my professional training, academic specialty, and clinical placements. It led me to focus on the relationship between parent and child, and ultimately, search for strategies to intervene constructively in family systems. There are too many to count parenting books that outline stages of child development, offer sage and well-informed advice, or present a check-the-box approach to parenting. But rehashing best practices is not the goal of this book. The issue I discuss in this book how narcissism starts in childhood but can be diverted, is complex. There is no simple rule of thumb that will prevent your child from being a narcissist. It's taken me four decades of study, practice, and experience to develop a toolbox for stopping narcissism when it typically begins, in childhood. The purpose of this book is to share those tools with you, the parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, teachers, and coaches who define the lives of the children around you.